Hello guys, welcome to the video. Today, I'm sharing 10 wrestlers I would love to see take on The Rock if you want a one last WWE run. I wish Rock would, because The Rock is one of my all-time favorite WWE wrestlers. Hell, he is mine. I mean, obviously, yeah, you know, you have The Undertaker, you have Stone Cold, you have, like, you know, the obvious greats. And obviously, yes, Undertaker definitely is one of my favorites, but The Rock, man, he's my childhood. I also have a Rock DVD over here somewhere. That shows how much I love The Rock. I binge-watched the hell out of DVD, and just one day I would love to meet the guy. But the one thing I really wish for is just to watch him have one, just one year in the WWE and just watch it live. Because I would watch Raw SmackDown just for him. I enjoyed that little short stint he had from January all the way to WrestleMania 29. But unfortunately, that was his last run. And I'm not counting Eric Rowan as his last match, even though it's in the record books now. So let's get right to it. There's no, no order at all. Just 10 people. And I'm going to give a little reason as to why. First up, The Miz. Now, I'm taking a little inspiration from the uh, Gold's idea, you know, of Miz going after Cena because of WrestleMania 27, but this has always kind of been in my mind. The Miz has really not been the best at WrestleMania since The Rock kind of overshadowed him. I mean, hell, look at it. WrestleMania 28, yes, he was part of Team Teddy, Team Johnny, but this guy made a bet at WrestleMania. Why is he part of a Jobbers 10 on, uh, 5 on 5 match? And what's funny is that Drew McIntyre was a part of that. I mean, this is before Drew McIntyre got his push, but the point being is, wow, times have changed. WrestleMania 29 was on the pre-show. Imagine going from main event to the pre-show. WrestleMania 30, I believe he was a part of the Battle Royal. Yes, I think it, it, he had to have been. I remember his really douchey haircut. WrestleMania 31 was a part of the Battle Royal. Again, on pre-show. What the hell? WrestleMania 32, part of the ladder match. Cool. WrestleMania 33, losing to a proposal. Love you, WWE. WrestleMania 34, having one of the best matches on WrestleMania 34. WrestleMania 35, losing to Shane McMahon. At 36, he could have easily broken his curse with John Morrison, and the guy got sick. That's what Miz is going to bring up. The Miz's career really has not been the same since then. Miz has never been in the main event seat since then. Ever since WrestleMania 27. He doesn't even remember that night. But he wished he could. But he blames that on The Rock, and also Cena. But that's another story for another time. But I think this would be a fantastic feud. I believe the promos between these two would just be absolutely phenomenal. Just imagine the promos between these two guys. Next, AJ Styles. I just have to say these words. The great one versus the phenomenal one. This, all right, give this once in a lifetime, all right? Roman Reigns, self-explanatory, guys, come on. And they're cousins. <laughs> but really, this would be a good match. Though I can see The Rock lighting Roman Reigns' ass up in these promos. This one is definitely bound to happen at WrestleMania 37. I just see this one happening for some reason. And I do hope it does, because I believe Roman Reigns deserved to have a match against Rock, and maybe even possibly retire the guy, but I just want Rock to have many more matches. I feel like the guy is still in phenomenal shape, and with the right opponent, he'll put on great matches. Randy Orton. Now this one, oh <laughs> Now, technically, they have had a match before WrestleMania 20, but it technically wasn't a one-on-one -on -one match. But Randy Orton, in a way, has kind of killed the legend of The Rock and McFoley. But like Randy Orton is the one I kind of directed. I mean, I know Rock was in Hollywood, but let's do this in a story stance. It's kind of like Randy Orton believes that he killed the legend of Rock, so Rock scurried his way back to Hollywood. And when Randy Orton was at his worst point in his career, because really, 2011 and 2000, really early mid-2013 Orton was not the best. I mean, he was there. But that's how that would go. And just imagine, just imagine, this, Randy Orton at his best right now. Honest to God, I believe Randy Orton is at his best right now when it comes to in-ring work and promos. Edge! Now, Rock and Edge have had matches before, but this is truly before Edge really made a name for himself. I want this. And the fact this can happen now is so good. Now, I know I can discredit you know the part-time matches, but if the two part-timers can actually fuck Russell, yes, these two can. I would adore this match so much. Freaking The Rock versus Edge? Dude, this is a money-making match right here. This Daniel Bryan versus The Rock. I want this to happen. I would love this, because I've been a fan of Daniel Bryan ever since his heel turn run in 2018, because then I've seen how really good Daniel Bryan is. And I believe Dana Bryan would actually be one of the few guys, besides AJ, to really, you know, and Randy Orton too. Randy Orton's also a safe guy to work out. He worked with freaking Edge, who hasn't had a proper match in nine years. And look how good the match was. Yeah, Dana Bryan, I say, is a perfect fit. 
I would love to see this. I want to see the match though. Because I know it definitely has some interesting type of technical wrestling. I just want Rock to have a proper last match. That is it a finisher fest? Or just him hitting his finisher? Triple H. Triple H and Rock never really had that proper one-on-one -on -one match. Kevin Owens. Now Kevin Owens, I believe if I'm correct, Rock is one of his favorites as well. Because that's why he got the bull tattoo. Which is actually pretty neat. I mean yeah, he's using a stunner so betrayal, but... Dude, Kevin Owens versus The Rock, though. Man, I mean, there's nothing really can add to this. Brock Lesnar. This one should have happened at WrestleMania 29, or WrestleMania 30, or WrestleMania 31, 32, 33, 34. And this match should have happened. It needs to, alright? We're not just clamoring for it because we need to have a sequel, but really, I want to see it again. Because now Brock Lesnar is no longer this young guy, this rookie. He is a legend now. I would just love to see it. That's really all. But who really knows if this will be the last one, guys? Riddick Moss. I know. I shouldn't be putting one of the greatest wrestlers of all time against a jobber like The Rock. It's very shameful of me. And I absolutely apologize. I feel very ashamed of myself. I'm going to step out. Sorry for wasting your time.